Okay, what I can confirm here today is the Thane's Hines effect. <coughs> Excuse the voice. Been to the football again today. Uh, not that the Thane's Hines effect need conver- uh, confirming because he'd done it already. So what I've done here, I've wrapped a big-ass bifler. Uh, weighs about two kilo. It's half a mil uh, gauge enamel coppered wire. We've got our drive coil, which is the Roden coil. I've only got, this is a bifler as well, but I've only got one of the coils hooked up. So I've disconnected them in series and we're just using one because I get um, lower amperage draw and uh, better speeds. Uh, there's a little hall effect just there. And the circuit's pretty simple, a bit of a rat's nest, but we've got a MOSFET and we've got a transistor and uh, uh, a couple of resistors. That's basically it. And so I'll get it running with uh, hooking up the... I'm going to charge that cap over there, that big-ass cap. So we're running now. We're going to charge this cap in a second. That cap is currently at 1 volt. It's a 16 volts, uh, 120,000 microfarad. Current draw from the battery. Okay, we seem to have peaked out there at around 24,000 RPM. And uh, I think that's 360 milliamp, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, now we're going to hook up our bridge rectifier. You can hear it there immediately. Charging. Amps dropping, speed increasing, was it 24,000? Now 28,000 and we're, we're charging that cap. That's a super cap. Stabilizer at 26, uh, whatever that is, 260 milliamp, I think it is. I don't really think it's 26 milliamp, I think it's 260. So there you go. Loving this. Uh, next step is, of course, to run it off caps. Interestingly, the same thing happens with a battery, but if I hook up a neon to it, uh, to the bridge rectifier, the neon slows the whole process down. And if I hook up a battery, if I hook up a cap, the motor speeds up and the amps, amps drop. So I'm not too sure why that is the case. Um, welcome any feedback. Thank you to Deep Cut. Uh, the one thing I wasn't doing properly in my Thane's Hoyle, Thane's Hoyle, Thane's Hines coil was that I've got a big ass. Um, core in here now so that and I've tried running uh, this little rig and you can see here it's cogging quite well but I've tried running the rig without the core or present and it gets up to about 28,260 milliamps so what you see there with the load connected or the, the cap charging is actually the speed, the same speed, as if I didn't have that big bifler with the core there at all. I think that's uh, pretty significant. Anyway, uh, off to the next step, which is to run off these uh, 22 farad caps. Uh, welcome any feedback. Thanks, guys. Bye.